welcome to Magical Mrs Hutchins. It's Monster Crunch and I again. We thought that we might share another super story with you. Today I thought I might read a story called The Elves and the Shoemakers. So if you're sitting comfortably I shall begin. In an old and shabby shoe shop there lived a cobbler Stan and his wife Jan. Though they were poor, they were very happy, for they loved to make shoes. Shoes for walking, and shoes for jumping, and shoes for skipping, and best of all, shoes for dancing. Every day, Stan and Jan worked hard making shoes for their little shop. And every evening they slipped on their favourite dancing shoes and they waltzed the night away. The villagers loved to watch them dance and before long young people and old people whirled and twirled through the door to join in. All summer long the shoemakers danced, sharing their joy with everyone around them. But soon the bitter winter came and as the weeks passed fewer and fewer customers stopped to buy shoes. Whatever will we do? worried Stan. Soon we will have no money and no more firewood. The shop grew quieter and quieter and that night Stan and Jan huddled by the tiny fire, their fingers too cold to sew and their feet too frozen to dance. L -l Let's go 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 to the bed Jan chattered. Perhaps we will think of something in the morning. But in the morning they awoke to find the most magnificent pair of shoes. Oh, leaping laces! Who on earth made these? marvelled Stan. Before they could start to wonder, the shop door opened and in marched their first customer in weeks. Good day, cried the customer. My name is Sir Flumby and I spied these splendid shoes in the window and I simply must have them. The shoes fitted perfectly. So Sir Flumby paid Stan a handful of gold pieces and skipped away merrily in his new shoes. Delighted, Stan went to market to buy some supper and firewood and that night the shoemaker and his wife danced with joy once more. The next morning they found to their amazement three new pairs of shoes even more stunning than the last. Stan and Jan could not believe their eyes but just then... Greetings shoemakers! I am Sir Flipsy Flopsy and I have heard tales of your marvellous shoes. Why, they are even more fabulous than I had imagined, he bellowed. I shall buy them all. One pair for me and the others for my horse, Toby. So Sir Flipsy Flopsy filled the shoemaker's pockets with gold coins and he galloped off. From then on, there were shiny new shoes every morning. Soon the shop was warm and cosy and bustling with customers day after day. One day... Jan said, we still don't know who's helping us. I wish we could thank them. Then Stan had a wonderful idea. Why don't we stay up and find out? So that night, Jan and Stan hid behind the curtains. They waited and waited and waited until as the clock struck, Three tiny elves slipped in through the keyhole and tiptoed across the room. The elves set to work with a stitch, stitch, stitch and a rap, a tap, tap. And as they worked, they sang. We love jumping, leaping, prancing. We were sad when you stopped dancing so in we creep while you are dreaming making new shoes all bright and gleaming all night the elves sewed until the sun began to rise 
Then quickly and quietly, they popped back through the keyhole. Stan and Jan were so surprised by what they'd seen. What delightful little elves, Stan whispered. We must repay their kindness. Ah, let's make them their own little dancing shoes, said Jan. And some dancing clothes too. So the next morning, that's just exactly what they did. Jan knitted tiny jumpers using tiny pins and then sewed on tiny apple pips for decoration. Stan crafted tiny shoes from dandelion leaves, then stitched them with daisy stem laces. And together they made little pointy hats with the teeniest, tiniest pom-poms on top. At midnight, Stan left the tiny parcel on the workbench just before the three little elves crept inside. On the parcel there was a note. For our very special helpers, may you dance the night away. With love from Jan and Stan. Kiss, kiss. When the elves saw their new clothes, they were overjoyed. They giggled and wiggled and danced all night in the moonlight. But as the stars faded, the three tiny elves tiptoed away and vanished into the night. That was the last the shoemakers ever saw of the elves, but their kindness was never forgotten. And Stan and Jan danced every night with their friends, just in case the elves ever returned. And who knows, one day they maybe will. The end. I hope you like that story. I think The Elves and the Shoemaker is a rather good story indeed. Well, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.